Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arnold with the Stock Swishing and Reviewing Apple. This was just an enormous call. I mean, it was the 180 calls are on, and I even gave a lot of time in it. I think a lot of people got out Friday, which was fine. It had an extended move. It had a big move. 185 was the dream target for Friday. It almost got there. 184.25 closed strong even, and it gapped up again and followed through today. You kind of could have seen that was going to happen with the Berkshire Hathaway meeting on Saturday. Anyways, today it opened over that dream target, 185.18. It's headed to 190. So, I mean, this is just to be almost $8 for the strike. And, I mean, it was just a great call. So, I don't know how many people are left in this, but obviously, I think today would be a good exit on this, even if it doesn't get to 190. It's getting close to 188, but it really well could get to 190. I was shocked that this moved the market as much as it did on Friday, but really the move in Apple was responsible for the move of the market on Friday and nothing else. So uh, Apple is over and making brand new all-time highs again today, and it did on Friday as well, and it really wasn't hard to see this would follow through from Friday into today, and obviously 200's in sight for Apple too. I mean, who knows, that could even happen in the time that I called the trade. So you will have certain gaps that look better than others. This was one of the ones, oops, I just lost the chart here. Um, this was one of the ones here, Apple was definitely, uh, and it's interesting because going back, here was the day of the earnings, okay, and it really wasn't amazing on the earnings. I mean, the, it had the move, I mean, it gapped up, that's true, but it didn't have a big move in the earnings. Interestingly enough, it had a bigger move with the news that happened that came out with uh, Warren Buffett talking. You know, which was, you know, overnight from Thursday night into Friday morning. So that move actually created a bigger move than the gap itself, if you look at it. So gaps can happen for any reason. News, earnings, any kind of reasons at all. And uh, Apple clearly is being bought with institutional money and a great example of that and power money and how it can really lift something. Because really, if you look at it the night before the earnings, 169 stocks moved almost 20 points and this is in a matter of just several days one two three four days less than four days the stocks moved 20 points i mean that's fantastic it's absolutely fantastic so congratulations everyone that did apple whether you get out of it friday in the afternoon or even if you're still in it today just be careful don't let's get away from you it's a great trade uh but it still look, could even look higher <laughs> but when you're up a lot no piggy targets have a great day everyone